You'll see when you drive down Wyoming highways, be it a back highway or a main highway, there's that scar that heads up the center of the earth. And every so often there's a funny little pipe sticking up with some markings on it. Some of them even have a rooftop with numbers on the rooftop. What you're looking at is pipeline. The markers are to show where the pipeline is. The rooftops with the numbers on it, those numbers are for pilots to see. Pilots like this one, this is Alexander Starkey. He's a pilot instructor in Casper, Wyoming. Sorry, did I just say and he flies pipeline. Okay. The purpose of flying pipeline, of course, is to check for stains in the landscape. That stain lets them know something's leaking. So he was nice enough to let me come with him as we took off to fly a section of pipeline near Casper to see if we can find any stains in the landscape. Now, should there be a leak, it's not really a problem. If a leak is spotted, the pipeline is shut off. Equipment comes in and digs up the dirt. The oil is separated from the earth. The oil will be transported off and then processed and sold just like before. And the cleaned up dirt will be replaced, put back where it came from, and seeded with indigenous plants to fill up the landscape again. So oil spills from a pipeline are not an environmental hazard at all. You might have seen the headlines in the news, Keystone XL pipeline, North Dakota sprung a leak, left a big scar on the landscape. But that stain was quickly cleaned up. The oil has been refined and used. The dirt was put back where it came from, all cleaned up. And by next spring, you wouldn't even be able to tell that anything ever happened there. Some pipeline across the country goes through long, vast, flat areas that are probably kind of boring to fly where we were going on this particular day was a lot more interesting. And now you know what those funny little pipes with the rooftops are for. And now you know why you'll find the occasional airplane flying over top of them, low and slow.